The vote to ratify the treaty negotiated by Mr. J with Great Britain still stands at 15 in favor, 15 against. The J Treaty is no Mr. more than a capitulation of great decision. We're still a colony. Peace, sir, is not capitulation. Mr. And the treaty stands for peace. Stand down, sir. The people of the United States had been consulted. No treaty, whatever, would have been enough, formed. Mr. McLean. They still at the expense of the French. The Great Britain is not to be contended with. Did we not fight a bloody and costly revolution to rid ourselves Mr. of British contagion? Do you want to fight another one? Mr. Pinkney, you will cease. Good heavens. Now. The vote still stands at 15 in favor, 15 against. And as the Senate cannot come to a resolution, the final vote, the deciding vote, falls to this chair. Falls to his rotund. President's wishes are clear. I vote for ratification. Ah! Mr. Mr. Adams casts his vote with the president only because he looks up to the same goal. I am forced to look up to it and bound by duty to do so, sir, as there is only one breath of one mortal between me and it. are in full cry. They say I have sold this country to England, that I have sided with the mad English king or the French Republic. Slanders and libels, mobs, seditions, and then the hissing snakes, the burning torches and haggard horrors of civil war. My desk overflows with the memorials Petitions, addresses, resolutions, remonstrances from every corner of the country, all urging me to refuse my signature, declaring I'm a traitor because I've sided with a mad English king over the French Republic. Chief Justice Jay informs me that he could steer a course from one end of the country to the other by the light of his own burning effigies. I do not approve of everything and that treaty but at least it keeps us out of their blasted war. I know what it is to be unpopular, Mr. Adams. I am weary of the task. Most weary. <laughs> 